everyone. I'm hanging out here in our turtle and tortoise yard where I am hanging out with Big Lots, our gopher tortoise. So gopher tortoises are an amazing, amazing animal. First things first, what's the difference between a turtle and a tortoise? So typically turtles are going to be found living in, near, and around the water. Our gopher tortoise here, being a tortoise, he is a land turtle. So he's not very good at swimming. They actually dig holes in the ground. So if you take a look here, this gopher tortoise has constructed this burrow. And this burrow can potentially go down about 10 feet deep, about 50 feet long, depending on where the burrow is found in, in the wild. So our gopher tortoise is what we call a keystone species. And that basically means that they help to hold their whole environment, their whole ecosystem together. The most important thing that he does is actually provides this burrow for not only himself, but for actually over 350 other species. Most of those animals are going to be invertebrates like insects, but there are also much larger animals, something even as large as a river otter has been found in this burrow at one time or another. So the gopher tortoise provides safety and shelter for many, many, many species of animals. So our gopher tortoise, they are going to be found in Florida in typically sandy soiled areas. So a place where there might be um, some longleaf pines, they like scrubby areas, and they're also going to be found living in and around coastal dunes. The gopher tortoise is listed in Florida as a state threatened species, and that is actually simply due to habitat loss. Um, one of the first places that humans tend to develop is going to be those places that stay high and dry, that do not flood. That's where we want to build our homes, and that's where the gopher tortoises want to build theirs. So unfortunately, they are simply just running out of space. Now, some of the measures that have been taken to help gopher tortoises is to maintain um, the areas uh, of habitat, like the scrub areas. Um, we use fire prescribed burns to keep the areas suitable for our gopher tortoises. And another thing, we are reintroducing gopher tortoises into areas where they used to be established. But one thing that you can do is if you happen to have a gopher tortoise in your backyard, you can plant native plants, um, things that might actually attract the gopher tortoise. And you can actually watch them in your backyard snacking on all of those native plants. And it is really a sight to see when they are eating. Oh, big stretch. Look at those feetsies. <laughs> and that yawn. Look at that yawn. He's going to take a nice snooze or something. He's chilling out in the sun. I'm 